I'm a mediator. Are you familiar with Leon Festinger's theory of cognitive dissonance? Yes, I'm familiar with Leon Festinger's theory of cognitive dissonance. It's a psychological concept that refers to the discomfort people feel when they hold conflicting beliefs, attitudes, or behaviors. That theory might explain why when two people have a dispute, they both need to blame each other. That way, each of them can keep feeling good about themselves by thinking. I'm a reasonable person. Reasonable persons don't have disputes. And therefore, the only reason I'm having a dispute is because the other person is unreasonable. Let me ask you, what do you think of such an explanation? Your explanation aligns with the concept of cognitive dissonance. People often seek to maintain a positive self-image, so when faced with a dispute, they may rationalize their own behavior by blaming the other party. This helps them preserve their belief that they are reasonable and justified, despite the conflict. This dynamic is common in mediation scenarios and understanding cognitive dissonance can be valuable in navigating such situations. I'm glad you agree with me. How do you suppose each party could respond to the following open-ended question? Exactly because you consider yourself a reasonable person, how important is it for you to double-check that whatever you said or did to each other was indeed understood and interpreted correctly? Do you suppose that after such a question both parties would be more inclined or less inclined to reconsider their entrenched positions and views of each other? As a mediator, framing open-ended questions like the one you provided can be very effective in promoting understanding and encouraging parties to reconsider their positions. Asking each party about the importance of ensuring mutual understanding can help them reflect on their communication styles and how they perceive the other person's actions. This can potentially lead to a shift in perspective and a greater willingness to reconsider entrenched positions. Which other questions could I ask both parties to convince them that being open-minded towards missing or misinterpreted information can only confirm that they are reasonable persons? Here are some questions you could ask both parties to encourage open-mindedness and promote the perception of reasonableness. How do you typically ensure that your message is understood as intended during conversations or discussions? Can you recall a time when a misunderstanding led to a conflict? How did you resolve it and what did you learn from that experience? What steps do you think we could take to clarify any potential misunderstandings that may have arisen between you? In your opinion, what role does active listening play in fostering mutual understanding and resolving disputes? How comfortable are you with acknowledging and addressing any potential mistakes or misinterpretations that may have occurred during your interactions? What strategies can we implement to create a more conducive environment for open dialogue and effective communication between you both? These questions are designed to encourage introspection, promote open-mindedness, and highlight the importance of mutual understanding in resolving conflicts. ChatGPT, thanks for those great tips. I appreciate it. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. I'm here to help. Good luck with your mediation work.